warning. This Puget TV episode was created during the coronavirus by television professionals. Students practice social distancing and follow the CDC guidelines and put the health of themselves and their peers first. Enjoy the show. Class of 2020, we are ending the year during a very difficult time, a pandemic that has unfortunately affected the lives of many people, not just in the United States, but across the world. However, we have conquered these obstacles by not having these moments change our positivity, determination, and resilience that will make each one of us accomplish great things in the future. This is not something we expected, but let's enjoy this time we still have together. We plan on doing just that with this senior episode. Let's all take some time to recognize and celebrate everyone in our senior class. I'm Jordan Janke. And I'm Dee Dee Brucis. You're watching the 2020 BHS TV senior episode. You're watching another episode of BHS TV Quarantine Edition with Chase Shirts, Dee Dee Brucis, Kate Kibbe, Jordan Janke, Persoth Madonna, Caroline Kaleko, Sam Cook, Jake Braun, Nick Neff, also known as Chef Neff, Bethany Gamarillo, Vincent Merfeld. Taylor Thompson, Ariana Armando, Mary Tierney, Zoe Zaxon, and Hannah Sullivan. We have had many talented, passionate, creative, hardworking, and intelligent seniors in the fine arts here at Barrington High School. Yes, we have. We can't wait to see the amazing things they will do in their future. Let's send it over to Chase Shirts, who will announce the Senior Fine Arts Awards. Hello, I'm Chase Shirts, and I'm a senior here at BHS. I have been lucky enough to participate in the outstanding fine arts classes all four years. Shout out to my amazing teachers, Ms. Nowak, Mr. Pemberton, and Dr. Doles. Thank you for your leadership and dedication and everything you do for us students. Today, I will announce the Class of 2020 Fine Arts Awards. This year, we are excited to announce the Principal and Superintendent Award for the first time. This new tradition demonstrates our administrators' interest and support of the arts. First up, we have Principal McWilliams. This is Barrington High School Principal Steve McWilliams. It is my pleasure to announce Stephen Alton as the first ever Principal's Award winner for his photograph. Thank you for all the great submissions from all the students. This was a tough decision, but I really enjoyed looking at all of the art pieces that were submitted for this competition. Thank you, Principal McWilliams, for your support of the fine arts and participation in the school productions. Next up, we have the superintendent, Dr. Harris. This year, we're beginning a superintendent's art award recognition for our Barrington High School students. I'm excited to announce the winner this year is Daria Duffy. Congratulations to Daria on an outstanding job with your portrait that will be hanging here in the district office for this coming year. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Next up, we have the Agnes Kruger Scholarship recipients. The Agnes Kruger Scholarship was a fund initiated in 2011 and is offered annually to residents of Barrington District 220. Ms. Kruger was a lifelong resident of Barrington, Illinois, and her passion for the music and the arts resulted in the establishment of this fund to assist qualified students in the pursuit of post high school education in the field of music. This year, the following seniors are being given this prestigious award. Audrey Van Boven, Sophia Peterson, Cece Yassel, and Ariana O'Connell. Thank you for your excellence in music and congratulations on being awarded this special award. Each year, our band program nominates two students for excellence in music over the course of their BHS Fine Arts journey. This year, the John Philip Sosa Award for Excellence in Band is being given to Emma Poblinski, and the Louis Armstrong Award in Excellence in Jazz is going to Jack Alexic. This year, our BHS dance program is recognizing two members of the Class of 2020 for their artistic contributions and dedication to excellence in movement and choreography. We'd like to congratulate Tessa Carolaccio and Emma Landenberger. This year, we have had many wonderful concerts, musicals, and plays, along with many contributions from many members of our senior class. The choir and theater programs are holding virtual banquets next week where various awards will be given. We don't want to ruin the surprises, but the award recipients will be added to the BHS Fine Arts website once the announcement has been made. Last but not least, we have the BHS TV Senior Awards. 
For excellence in directing, we have Prasanth Madonna. For excellence in editing, we have Jacob Braun. For excellence in on-air talent, we have Didi Brustis. For excellence as a producer, we have Jordan Janke. For excellence in cinematography, we have Sam Cooke. For excellence as a comedic, in a comedic narrative, we have Caroline Kaleko. For BHS TV's best performance by an actor, we have the good-looking Chase Shirts. For best performances by an actress in a leading role, we have Kate Kibbe. For the Hispanic Heritage Month episode, the director was Juan Tinajero. For the Black History Month director, we have Dominique Duval. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you to the amazing fine arts staff and teachers. Thank you, Chase, and all other fine arts seniors for everything you do to make BHS a better place with your unforgettable and very impressive talents. Not only have the fine arts consisted of so many great people from the class of 2020, but the athletic department has as well. So many of Barrington High School's class of 2020 athletes have brought us far in every sport that BHS participates in throughout the year. These athletes are powerful, determined, impactful, athletic, and inspiring. Let's send it over to none other than the Riley Trapp as he announces the Senior Athletic Awards. Hello BHS, I'm Riley Trapp and if you're wondering why I, a junior, is in the senior episode, well so am I. Anyways, I'm here to present the 2019 to 2020 Barrington High School Athletic Awards. First up, we have the Barrington High School 2020 Senior Scholar Athletes. The criteria for this is the seventh semester overall grade point average is multiplied by the total number of varsity letters earned by the athlete's career at BHS. And if that number is 18 or higher, they'll be recognized for our senior scholar athlete recognition. Our athletes this year are Trey Soseski, EJ Darlington, Daniel Emery, Patrick Furlong, Jack Hoppy, Quinn Cadle, Anna Mae King, Hayden Krause, Alyssa Norris, Taya Ragnini, Elena Reimenschneider, Aiden Roth, Aaron Sarkar, Haley Schmitz, Jack Streeter, Charles Farber, and Christina Tyke. Congratulations on a great athletic and academic career here at BHS. Next up, we'd like to recognize BHS three sport athletes. Stephen Alton with gymnastics, wrestling, and cross country. Rachel Freeman with bowling, track, and cross country. Aaron Sarkar with football, basketball, and track. And Haley Schmitz with volleyball, basketball, and water polo. Congratulations to all four recipients. Now we would like to present some awards that were voted on by Barrington High School varsity athletic coaches at Barrington High School. Our managers of the year are David Hargrave for Boys Cross Country and Wyatt Stone for Boys Basketball. Our Cheryl Hagati Award winner is Stephen Alton. Our female athletes of the year are Anna Mae King and Mara Janis. Mara Janis won the MSL Girls Golf Conference Tournament when she shot a 68. She shot one under par in 74 to finish second in the regional. She went on to become the first Philly golfer in the past 45 years of IHSA Girls Golf Tournament to win the state tournament. She had a historic nine in the final back round with four birdies and she won the state title on the first playoff hole. Next up, Anna Mae King. She was a senior undefeated in the MSL dual meets, 11 dive both BHS school and pool records. MSL pool records in the Schaumburg six dive and Frem six dive and 11 dive record. She's a varsity conference champion, a sectional champion and won second at state. Next up is our male co-athletes of the year. First is Luke Rasmussen, a Barrington wrestler. He's a four-year varsity starter, a two-year captain. He had a 46-1 record as a senior with 33 wins by pinfall. He was selected to the 2020 MSL West Wrestler of the Year. He won six tournaments his senior year, the Moore Pettyman Champion, the MSL Conference Champion, the IHSA Regional Champion, the IHSA Sectional Champion, and at the state tournament, he placed second in the 170-pound division, earning all state honors. 132 career wins, placing him 7th on the Barrington All-Time Wrestling win list. He's currently ranked the 17th best wrestler in the nation for the 170-pound division. 
He'll be wrestling Division I next year at North Dakota State University. Next up is Lucas Van Ness for Barrington Football and Barrington Hockey. He was a two-way starter on the defensive line and offensive line. He was a football captain, voted co-defensive MVP. He was an MSL All-Conference player. He was an MSL West Defensive Player of the Year. He was a Daily Herald All-Area, a Champaign News Gazette All-State, 8A Academic All-State. Next year, Lucas will be playing football at the University of Iowa. Congratulations to all the winners and all the amazing athletes for their hard work during their careers here at BHS. Barrington High School is so proud of you all. We hope to see you all succeed in all future endeavors. That's all we have for today, BHS. Now back to the studio. Congratulations to all 2020 athletic seniors for making a forever lasting impact on not just Barrington High School, but the whole Barrington community. Seniors, each of your efforts will not be forgotten, and we appreciate all that you have done for Barrington. Thank you for setting a great example to those around you. Each and every one of you are inspiring to us. Moving on, some seniors would like to share some of their favorite memories. Here's what they have to say. My favorite memory of BHS TV would probably be this past October, the Halloween special that we had created, because it was one of the first things I got to put my name on as a senior. And uh, despite how difficult it could have been to produce at most times, uh, the end result was something that I was happy with. It'd be really hard to choose just one memory from all of my high school years. But if I could choose one year that I felt like was the best or my favorite would definitely be sophomore year. In general, I just finally had the layout of the building down. I wasn't a lost freshman anymore. And I just had a grip of how things worked. Uh, personally though, I felt like that was definitely my peak because I would always push myself to do better, whether it was academics, athletics, personal things. I'd always want to do better, just better myself. And I feel like socially, that's when I was at my prime as well because I would actually go out of my way to talk to people and do fun things. But overall, High school wasn't a bad, wasn't a bad experience. I made some pretty good friends, learned a lot of lessons, not just academically, but emotionally. But overall, it was, it was pretty good. So my favorite memory from Barrington High School is when I joined the bowling team. Um, I believe it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I never thought I would do something like that. But today, it's one of my favorite things to do in my free time. And I've really progressed uh, throughout the years. My favorite memory from high school has got to be the 2019 IHSA Gymnastics Sectional Girls Meet. It was my first season with BHS Gymnastics so that was really special to me and I remember competing vault and I like stuck my vault and yeah that was amazing and then everyone else did their vaults and everyone stuck their vaults and everyone stuck their floor teams and everyone had a great bars lineup and I remember going to BEAM which I think was our second to last event and BEAM is a make it or break it event, you know? Um, sometimes BEAM goes really great and your score goes up and sometimes BEAM just sucks. But BEAM was really good that day, I remember. And I was watching everyone compete on BEAM and it was like hit after hit after hit, which is what you want. And I just like got chills watching. It was the first time that I felt like I had this whole team, this whole family around me. And I knew it was like something special and it was the first time I felt like I was like a part of something, which is always a cool experience. So I'm never gonna forget that and I'm gonna miss the whole gymnastics team here, so shouts out to you guys, and good luck on the next four, Barrington. I'm gonna miss y'all. Hey, my name's Prasant Madonna, and I think my favorite memory from high school would have to be being a guitarist for the musical Pump Boys and Danettes. Um, that was actually the first high school theater production I'd ever been a part of, and I actually had a friend who was in the musical approach me about playing for the show because they were still looking for a guitarist at that point, and I said yes, just because I wanted to try new things and see how it would go. And it ended up, it ended up being one of the best decisions I'd ever made. Um, not only because it was a super fun show and I had a blast doing it, but because I met so many amazing people along the way. And I made connections with people that today I couldn't imagine not ever having known. Um, and I, the show opened up quite a few doors for me and handed me a bunch of opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise, which I'm still super, super grateful for, which is why I say that being a guitarist for Pump Boys and Danettes was my favorite high school memory. 
Hello, I'm uh, Nicholas Neff, and uh, wow, what a trip it's been here at BHS. Looking back, I've had a lot of great memories with a bunch of great people, great friends, great family members, great staff. But uh, looking back on it, if I had to give a specific favorite memory, it'd have to be from this year, just uh, the 2019-2020 Broncos hockey team varsity it was just a different team man started off in August all of us put together some of us newcomers on the team others have been playing together for three two four years and uh yeah it was just different like the atmosphere in the locker room each and every practice guys cheering guys on had a great start at the beginning of the year I think we only had about 10 losses going into a uh, October and maybe a November and uh, after winter break we kind of took a toll and went downhill a little bit thinking our season wasn't going to go as well as we liked we weren't winning games scoring goals we had a huge drought at one point where we couldn't score a goal and it was quite funny because once we scored that first goal in about I think it was four or five games maybe everyone was going crazy I remember my friend CJ scored and we were like hey let's go baby it was hilarious but yeah this and then we ended up after that, uh, that was our last game of the season. And after that, we ended up heading into the playoffs where in the SHL, which is our league, we didn't like to be where we were. Losing to Stevenson in the first round was tough. We bounced back. And that state playoffs, let me tell you, that was something different. That was a different team I've seen before. Never been a part of a team like that. Our coach, Steve Martins, did a great job of keeping us all together, motivating us, working on all the lineups, all the matchups, plays. It was crazy. Every practice from that week on, it was like we were a family. I remember guys working each other at practice, t t telling each other to correct some things on their skill work, and uh, didn't didn't want it the way to end. Didn't want it to end the way it did, but Frozen Four isn't bad for a team. It hasn't made it that far in quite a while. So after the, uh, defeating Providence in that Elite Eight game, we were headed to play New Trier, the top dog in the, the Frozen Four. Us being the four seed and them being the one seed, ranked in state. It was pretty cool because uh, we actually have never uh, beat New Trier in uh, the varsity level in about, uh, I think, two years. So it was cool to maybe get them back that last time and move on to the state championship. But obviously, as COVID took over, we all were bummed out about it, and our uh, our season in the playoffs did not get to finish, which is really tough, especially being a senior. And I vouch for a lot of my teammates, and especially my coach, because he, uh, he felt something different in us, and so did I. And I know a lot of my teammates did too. But it is what it is now. Can't go back and change the past, but yeah. I would definitely consider that one of my favorite memories here at BHS. And for one last segment, it's time to get you in the know. Didi? What's up, Barrington? I'm Didi Brucis, and it's time to get you in the know. Barrington High School is currently working on a virtual plan for graduation on Friday, May 29th. To all my seniors, it's been one heck of a run. That's all for this year, Barrington. I'm Didi Brucis, and now you're in the know. It has been an absolute honor to have gotten BHS in the know for the past two years. Thank you to everyone that tuned in to the 2020 BHS TV Senior episode. I'm Dee Dee Brucis. And I'm Jordan Janke. Thank, Thank you, Barrington. Barrington.